Hi, I'm, I'm Dave here at Fishtails, and I built a freight elevator last week, and I'm going to show you that freight elevator, and hopefully it's uh, helpful to you. This is uh, our, our showroom, and um, what we do is we sell souvenirs, giftware, nautical products, toys, um, t-shirts, sweatshirts, that type of thing. But let's go back to our our warehouse here and I'll show you what I did with my freight elevator. I watched a lot of YouTube freight elevators and appreciate all the people that put it up and it sure was helpful and I made a lot of modifications to mine, which I'll show you. So here's our back warehouse we just put this second floor in last couple months ago and so I thought a freight elevator would be nice and this is I'm gonna start with the bottom that's the bottom you'll notice I've got two pegs in there we had one of our staff that was concerned it might fall on somebody's head so I put those two pegs in there just so everybody can feel secure that it's not gonna go anywhere so that's basically, I double framed it. That's two by sixes. And I've got steel rods. You'll see them upstairs coming through there with a nut and a washer. And I indented those so they wouldn't hit my cement floors. I also secured the back corners. And uh, what I did is I used garage door hardware. So that is a three inch track. You can get two inch tracks too, which would be fine. But I used a three inch. And I should tell you, you can see the screws. You want a tapered head screw so that your wheel doesn't hit that screw. Now for my post, I used two two by sixes, nailed them together. And the rails, you can see I offset the rail so that the screw goes into the center of one of the two by fours rather than the crack between the two two by fours. And that worked out fine. And that gives me lots of leeway going up and down on that. This is our garage door. And you can see that is a two inch track, which would be fine. Now there's two ways to hold your wheels. And one is that version right there that can hold your wheels. That's the the hinge version and the one up here is the one I used and I didn't use that V shaped bracket I didn't need that. I just used that top piece and you'll see that upstairs and that worked out fine so what we'll do is we'll take these two security pegs out and this is these pegs are just a standard peg that I get for, for a trailer hitch, and that just serves the purpose. I was going to put some rubber stoppers, you know, some rubber feet on the bottom there. That would be kind of nice, but it's really not necessary. It's just wood on cement floor, and that, that's fine. You can see here that the plywood overlaps the frame. And that's so you can trim the plywood if need be. You don't have to cut right into the frame. So I kind of trimmed the plywood afterwards to fit my opening. And that worked out great. So let's go upstairs. And there's our finished product. So I have a 440 pound winch. You can double up that cable. You put this here pulley on my eye bolt right here. Double up the cord and then you can, uh, it'll hold 880 pounds. So I've got two by six frame here. And again, uh, uh, just so that doesn't part or it's nailed together really well, but I put that bolt right there 
through it just so, so it wouldn't come apart. Because these winches, they all come with those two brackets. And what you're supposed to do is put a steel rod and have it hanging on a steel rod. But I couldn't find a steel rod that would fit and I didn't want any play in there. So I put a hole in the, drilled a hole into the bracket and then put a big seven inch bolt right through the beam and into the winch itself. And that, that is really solid. I mean, you, it will not move. It's, it's really nice. So I, I uh, put a lot of work into making it good and strong and I think it came out pretty nice. The elevator itself, I used these steel threaded rods. Each rod has four nuts and four washers. And that worked out real well. I don't have any welding experience, so I pretty much made it all out of wood. And of course you have to have those chains on there to hold the front end of your table secure. Now I put these fasteners on there and I'm really glad I did because sometimes it needs a little bit of fine tuning and so, so that's real handy. And here is the wheel holder that I mentioned before and that worked out real well. I put three screws in there just so it couldn't move around. Um, like I say, it'll hold lots of weight. And I guess we'll go up first. I got the brake on there. It automatically shuts off right there, which is at the top of my rail. And that works out fine. Because I like to bring it up about here so you don't have to bend over and pick up your boxes so you can bring it up nice and high if need be. Now, a lot of people extended their switch to use it down on the first floor. In our case, this works fine. We only use the elevator a few times when our shipments come in. Was Isn't that all? So this is fine. There you go. And it's just pretty basic. I put a lot of weight on that. Like I've had all 10 or 12 boxes on that. And I pile them four or five high. You can, you can pile it as high as you want. And then another thing is with a single cable, it'll go up and down twice as fast. So that's kind of nice. Um, I think we've covered everything. If you wonder what we're doing, we're, we're fishtailspei.com. And uh, if you can visit our, our website if you like. And, and uh, we, we're here in Canada, we ship free anything over a hundred pounds. If you have a gift shop, we're also a wholesale distributor. It's just get in touch with us and we can we can look after you for that too. In fact, what I'll do is if you place an order, you mentioned you were looking at my video, we'll throw in, I'll, I'll be happy to give you one of these free beach towels. And uh, that uh, might have some fun looking at our website. I think I've covered everything. And if, if you have any questions, just shoot me off a, an email at fishtailspei.com and I'd be happy to help you out. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching. Take care. Have a good day.